Hi, and welcome to Aqua Ibida. Now our goal today is to have a little chat about minerals and trace elements. And we want to see whether they are still as prevalent in the food we eat and the water we drink as they were hundreds of years ago. But the thing is, without minerals and trace elements, human function will slowly start deteriorating and then we will start to cease to exist. Your cell-to-cell -cell communication, your muscle contraction, the beating of your heart, the impulses created by your brain, everything relies on minerals and trace element for efficiency. So to demonstrate whether our fruits and our water are as rich in minerals and trace elements as they should be and as they were before, what I have is a positive and negative probe with an open circuit. So when I complete the circuit using a coin, we have light. Now this is basically what is keeping us alive, this electrical current within the body. Now the definition of death is not when the heart stops beating, because here we have a beating heart. It's when the electrical impulses from the brain stops that they pronounce as dead. Now we're nothing but sophisticated pieces of machines run by electrical impulses. Now a mineral and a trace element is also known as an electrolyte. They allow for electrical conductivity. So when I place my probes into this very small orange, we have life. Now this is basically a life-giving fruit, which we're going to get to in just a second. When I place it into my grapefruit, we see the conductivity is there, but it's a lot slower and not as bright as with the orange. Now the sad truth is, when we do eventually eat raw fruits and vegetables, we eat it out of a can, we microwave it, or we cook it. So the nutrients that were in the fruit is now in the water which we throw away anyway. The other problem that we deal with is soil deficiency. The soil we have today does not consist of that richness, that mineral richness that it used to have. What is now being thrown or being mixed into our soil is pesticides, herbicides, fungicides. We have hormones in the water, we have raw sewage, we have acid mine drainage. All those chemicals are actually coming into the soil, into the fruit and into our bodies, which is now making us sicker and sicker and sicker. Now if the fruit that we eat and the water we drink does not consist of that mineral richness, and it's not in the soil, it's not in the fruit, it's never going to be in us. Now the same problem we face with fruit, we also face with the water we drink. Because the water we drink should also have that mineral richness and quality that we look for that actually helps with conductivity within the body. Now when I place my probes in the tap water, if there is any trace of minerals and trace elements, no matter how small, we should have a light coming on and there should be conductivity. Right, so no surprise there. Now the sad truth is, even the water that we drink, they are not purified to a level that is healthy for human consumption. It is not as okay as we are made to believe. Now, what I have next to the tap water is what we call reverse osmosis water. A reverse osmosis is the golden standard of water purification. The total dissolved solid level of reverse osmosis is as close to zero as possible. So we want water to be absolutely clean. What we also do at Aquavita is with reverse osmosis water and with reverse osmosis filtration, we also use extra uranium filters because we want to make sure that cancer-causing carcinogens are also taken care of and then we also put in an extra UV light or UV filter to ensure that waterborne or airborne bacteria are filtered out as well. Now when I place my probes into the Aquavita water, we expect nothing to happen because there's absolutely nothing dissolved in the water, it is absolutely dead water. Now many people say, you know what, I go to, to my nearest spa or shopping center and I buy reverse osmosis water, I buy clean water. But the sad truth is that even though you try your best, reverse osmosis is known as a very aggressive and a very hungry water. Now what it wants to do, because it is lacking all those minerals, trace elements and even pollution, it wants something to bond with. And the first thing that it will bond with is whatever it comes into contact with. And the World Health Organization has done a study 
that reverse osmosis water is so aggressive and so hungry that they have found that it actually leaches the minerals out of lead piping. Now a small community that used reverse osmosis water or reverse osmosis systems, a lot of their kids started to die of lead poisoning because the reverse osmosis water was leaching so many minerals out of the piping causing corrosion, causing leaks and causing the lead to dissolve into the water and it was poisoning the children. So reverse osmosis on its own is very aggressive and very dangerous to your body. Now just like the lead piping, if you put reverse osmosis water into your body, as it passes through your body, it is going to pull the minerals and trace elements with it. So as you go to the bathroom, you're flushing more and more of those essential minerals and trace elements out of your body, which is leaving you with less and less, making you sicker and sicker. So even though you think, you know what, great, I'm drinking two and a half liters of water a day, you're actually doing your body more harm than good. Now what we have done at Aqua Evita is we have copied nature. What we have done is we have used a seven stage or a seven phase hydrological cycle infusing 84 minerals and trace elements which are the elements which is identical to those that are inside your body. We have infused those trace elements and minerals into a perfect solution which we place into reverse osmosis water to give it that conductivity, the electrolytes and minerals and trace elements that is needed in the human body. Now the question is why not just put the minerals and trace elements into tap water? The truth is it doesn't really help if you put something clean into something dirty because you still want to get the dirt into your body and that is unacceptable. So what we do is we now with reverse osmosis water we place one milliliter of concentrate or minerals and trace elements into one liter of reverse osmosis water. Because of the high concentration of the minerals and trace elements, we now have perfect conductivity. Now every single drop of water at Aqua Vida is infused with the minerals and trace elements, allowing for perfect conductivity of water and of your body. Now if every single drop of water that you put in your body has this fantastic communication and this electrical flow, then brain efficiency, muscle contraction, the beating of your heart, every single metabolic function in your body will start to slowly and surely be picked up, your health will increase and as we said, every single part of your body will start being slightly more efficient. The minerals and trace elements we use are so close to your body's blood plasma level that if your body can recognize something that it knows, it will communicate with it. So overall, waste materials in your body will start to be flushed out more efficiently. Circulation throughout the body will increase and overall health must increase if your body has what it needs. So at Aqua Vida, you can get everything you need. You can get the health you've always wanted, the guessing games with the consistency of what is in your tap water is over. So at Aqua Vida, all your health needs are taken care of. So give your body what it needs, give it what it desires, give it Aqua Vida, give it life. Thank you for watching.